Damn. Huh. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Nikki and Cole coming at you with 10 underrated drummers that you should be following but aren't. Before we jump in, let us know some drummers that you think are underrated and that we should check out in the comments below. All right, here we go. Let's jump in with number one. Wilfred Warrior Cat? What is that? So the first guy you should check out is Wilfred Ho. And this dude is a total badass because he covers some of the most difficult and challenging tunes out there, but he only uses one camera angle. So there's like no studio, studio magic or cuts or anything. It's just all him just being a, a phenomenal player. So if you haven't subscribed to him, do so now. I don't know. Do you want to leave? No. <laughs> All right. Number two is Adam Bjork. I'm so sorry if I butcher your name, but Bjork, Bjork. So Adam is into heavy, heavy metal. And when he's not blasting at 280, he's getting the ladies. And uh, if you haven't checked him out, I'm, I'm assuming that. If you haven't checked him out, <laughs> if you haven't checked him out, go check him out because dude's a phenomenal player and he covers some awesome stuff that a lot of people won't even attempt to cover. Damn calves, though. Ah, yes, an ad. Grammarly. All right, another super badass cover player, um, Kyle Bryan. I first saw his cover of uh, Through the Fire and Flames, and I'm like, damn, this guy's got blue hair, and, and he's got sick chops, and those are Pretty sweet hair. both things that I don't have. So uh, <laughs> if you're following me and not following him, definitely go check him out, because he seems like an awesome dude. Oh my god, he's so fast. He's, he needs a new shirt though. Uh, he needs a new shirt. Okay, all right. All right, the next guy you should check out is Pedro Tonello. And what first turned me on to this dude is, what first turned me, the, the, uh, what first turned me on to this dude was his Trivium covers. Um, from what I've seen, he's like, he likes covering like all the old school and like classic metal. So like Dream Theater and the Judas Priest and he does it all extremely well. So, um, yeah, go check him out. Go follow him. Vanja! Vanja! Grohair. Oh, does the Grohair. How, do, how, do how do you say this? How do you say this? Uh, Vanja's name. Vanja Grohair. Gra Grohair? Grohair? I don't, I think the O isn't an O sound. Um, let's, let's find out. Were you just about to mansplain to me that my computer isn't a touch screen? Er. It's an ER sound? Oh my gosh. Er. Banja, if you're out there, you are an excellent drummer, and most of your stuff is crazy. Um, if you haven't checked him out, everything he does is, is usually over 280 BPM, so um, dude's got lightning fast fingers, and his feet are the same, so um, follow him if you like Ricky Bobby, and you want to go fast. I hear that's what she said in there. You missed it. The camera didn't miss it, though. Uh, that's a cool inspirational video. I didn't know you did those, did those white, you sneaky dog. Um, doing a lot of, doing some reacts in here. This is sweet. Um, next guy you should check out is, is Wyatt Stav. And if you are a fan of Matt McGuire or Luke Holland, you'll love this dude because he also does um, a lot of the metalcore stuff with, with all the jugs. Maybe that'll be my thing on my, my channel. To say that's what she said as many times, even if it doesn't make You could be sense. Michael Scott. I am Michael Scott. All right, next we're checking out David Dipold, and this dude is the machine gun of drumming. He's probably the, the fastest and most like technically advanced drummer I've seen on YouTube. And it's so unfortunate that like pure skill and chops don't don't get you um, you know the, the the fame and fortune and recognition that you deserve. Um, but he, he covers the like extremist of the most extreme hard metal, you know, the, the flesh god apocalypse and the, the stuff that's at 280 BPM and he does it all super cleanly. And he's such an inspiration because he reminds you that any, you know, anything is possible because he does the impossible. So check him out. So why is 280 BPM like the benchmark here? I do it with one hand. All right, next we're checking out Martin Janovic. Uh, he's a professional drummer, 
Super nice dude, super fun to just watch. He does all these like awesome drum uh, tutorials and, and reactions and instructional videos. It just makes you like look at your playing in a different way. And if you haven't seen one of those videos, I'll link one in the description. So be sure you check it out. All right, next we're talking about Harry Marie. And when I first saw one of his videos, I was kind of like, dude, I don't want to play the cajon. Why does this video like relate to me? But uh, I, I, I did watch it and he's such an inspirational and fun dude to watch. Um, he, keeps, he, he keeps all of his topics super real and his videos aren't really made for discovery so he definitely deserves more recognition than he has. Um, he throws in the occasional cover and he's just really fun to watch so go check him out. All right, and lastly, I want you guys to check out Stephen Clark. He covers topics about drumming that you're never gonna think of on your own, like will these tennis balls make my drum set quieter, <laughs> which is an excellent piece of information I would have loved to know when I was back in college because I had these two ladies in the floor below me that would not, you, you know, like when you bang on the floor and they bang back, that's what happened. So if you wanna learn about those kind of things, uh, related to drumming, go check out Steven. <laughs> okay. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, no. guys. Can you hit over again? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more content like this, and I'll see you next week with something totally different.